Hey y'all, it's me Slate by Jordan and today I'm going to show you guys how to do my blonde patch on closures. The hair provided in this video is by Hair Spells. They sent me over some straight hair, 120 inch bundle, 122 inch bundle, 124 inch bundle, and a 16 inch 4x4 lace closure. Inside your packaging you will receive their information card and the hair. My first thoughts on the hair is that the hair is very thick and it's super soft to the touch. Let's see how this hair bleaches. Off camera, I went ahead and bleached the knots on the closure and plucked the hairline. If you want a more detailed tutorial on how I customize all my laces, please leave a comment below. So now as you see, I'm sectioning off the part that is going to be colored blonde. I'm going to make sure your part is straight and that it's even. So when you part it down the middle, it shows up on both sides evenly. Our bleach mixtures today will consist of Clairol Pure White 40 Volume Developer and Clairol BW2 Powder. I'm going to mix it together until I get a creamy consistency as you see in this clip. And now we're just going to paint that on and please be very generous while doing this. Because as the bleach processes, it tends to soak up in the hair. And once it's soaked up and the hair becomes dry, it no longer processes. So make sure you apply a lot of bleach. But just enough to coat the hair all over. Now we're going to take some aluminum foil and we're going to wrap our section up. This is going to help the bleach process faster and it's going to give you a more lighter result. After about 20 to 25 minutes, I'm going to check up on it. And we got the desired color that we want, so now we're going to rinse it out using Shimmer Light Shampoo and we're going to use Aussie Moist Conditioner. In this next clip, I'm going to show you how the end results are. It bleached perfectly. So now I'm going to make a wig, but I won't be showing how I make the wig today. I'm just showing you how it looks. I'm going to part it down the middle so you can see both sides. 
And now as you can see, my shirt is dirty. <laughs> Been a long day at the shop. <laughs> but yes, this wig came out great as you can see. It's very beautiful. Look at the luster on that hair though. Shout out to hair spell. And now I'm back with my client. We're going to install her wig. So today I'm going to show you the method I use for her skin because her skin does not like alcohol and it doesn't like a lot of products. So we're going to do a, a few different things today. So first, instead of using the Got To Be Glued Gel, I'm going to use the free spray to just slick her hair back. And once I slick it back, we're going to moisturize the scalp and then I'm going to put on her stocking cap and sew it down around the sides and the back. Now, instead of using the Got To Be Glued Gel to secure the cap, we're going to use that free spray again and we're going to blow dry it. Now we're going to cut the excess cap and then take our Maybelline Fit Me foundation and we're going to mesh the cap with her skin. Now we're going to take some more free spray and we're going to spray it on the edge of the cap to secure it. You want to make sure your cap is flat underneath your lace. If not, it's going to show and it won't look good. Now today, instead of using alcohol, we're going to use our Sea Breeze, which is a deep cleanser for the skin and scalp. It is an antiseptic. And we're going to follow up with our Boho Skin Protect. Now we're going to place the wig on her head, and you're going to get your client to help you position in place exactly where you want it. And we're going to get it prepared for so down. Now we're going to sew down the full perimeter of her head except for in the front where the closure is. Now we're going to cut off her side tabs to give her a more natural look. The adhesive we will be using today is the Boho Active as normal, but instead of using three layers, we will be only using one layer today. Only one layer.
And once that glue turns clear, we're going to proceed to lay that closure down. And we're going to wrap it up with our silk wrap and we're going to blow dry it on high heat. Now it's time to cut the lace. As you all know, I use my eyebrow razor and to help sometimes I'll use my shears. My client wants baby hairs today, so we're gonna give her some baby hairs. The gel we'll be using is the Got To Be Ultra Glue Gel. And we're just gonna trim those baby hairs with our eyebrow razor, and we're gonna swoop them to place. After I get the baby hairs how I want to, I'm going to take my free spray and spray it over top and then blow dry it.
And now I'm going to take some more free spray and spray it over top to lay the hair down exactly where I want it to go. And as always, I'm going to take my Beyond the Zone, turn up the heat spray, and spray it over the hair to give it a beautiful gloss. Once again, the details on this hair, this is Hair Spells Hair Straight 20, 22, 24 with a 16 inch closure. I custom colored the patch in the front using BW2 powder and 40 volume developer. Make sure you use my coupon code JOR12 to get $10 off your purchase. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. I love you all so much. Goodbye.